Hey folks, Sir Charles Carey here with another episode of Desktop Discussions. And today we're calling this episode, Expect the Road to be Tough. And the reason why is simply because, look, I've been doing this a long time. And I don't mean Facebook and I don't mean these lives. But then again, I do mean those things. No, the bottom line is I'm talking about being an entrepreneur. I'm talking about having extra income. I'm talking about generating income from your passion, generating income from fads and trends. And you have to learn how to separate the fads and trends from what you're really good at and what you really specialize in. Now I can tell you for a fact, beyond the shadow of a doubt, many times technology jacks me up. You know, either the computer isn't working or I didn't hit the right button or I don't know all the widgets I need to make my uh, presentation look like something or someone else's. But it's not always about that. It's really about making sure that your starting point is that you're in the right lane, meaning whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you're good at, that that's what you do. And if you're not doing that, you not only confuse the client, you may confuse general viewers, and you may even confuse yourself, to be honest. But we should expect the road to be tough, even when you know where your area of focus is or what's your sweet spot and you're pursuing things in your God-given talent, gift, and ability. It's going to be tough that way as well. But can you imagine how tough it is when you're coloring outside the lines? I mean, really, let's just keep it real. So <clears throat> as I always say, first and foremost, I want you to write down everything that resonates with you. You know, I want you to embrace or attract or address the things that are tough and difficult because that's the only way you're going to really get it. You have to really be a part of it, really into it for it to make sense to you. And it's like school for adults or school after school, you know, but the real school, because I think the academic school that we all have gone to is good. Obviously, uh, it prepares you for many things, if not most things in life. But then there's another level, right? There's another type of learning we have to do as adults to uh, really make our dreams come true or really to take care of ourselves. And that uh, school is the school of life. So again, um, learn to embrace what's difficult. And the only way to learn, the only way to embrace it is to see it and face it head on. Is to say to yourself, Dag, I'm not good at this. And look at it, read about it, ask questions about it, you know, watch videos about it, take a class on it, go to a workshop, that's about it. Go to a conference that focuses on it and then you will start to understand and then you will also start to maybe embody whatever that is, whether it's a skill set, a tool or whatever. That's the only way to really um, become the best version of you, especially in a specific area. And uh, that's what I have done. And to be quite honest with you, I think I could have done even better. But the point is, you got to you know, have your, your day one. Everyone, we have our day one. So you have to learn what you have to do. And I always say radiate the brain and change the game is simply because when you change the way you look at things, then you open up the doors for things to be uh, different and for you to get different results. So again, we're talking about expect the road to be tough. And, you know, sometimes we don't know what we don't know, simply put. And I mean, from a toddler to a... Uh, a young man, a teenager, right? You still don't know. Although if you're like me, many times we thought we knew or we had an inkling not realizing there was all of this more to learn, right? There was like all of this to learn, but we only knew about that much. So the point still remains. You have to humble yourself and you have to be respectful of the process of life. And I know when you're young, you don't know that because You've been around 16, 18 years, or maybe even 20 years. And, you know, it's like, hey, it's basic. How hard can it be? Well, the fact that there's a back end, there's the minutia of it all, and then there's the, the outcome, that's how hard it is. So your basic understanding really may not be enough. And that's one of the main reasons why, you know, you have to uh, expect the road to be tough and realize that you don't know what you don't know. So write that down. Understand that I don't know what I don't know. And then what feeds into what you don't know is the fact that 
their influences. There are sometimes many negative influences or fleeting trends, fads, comments, um, opinions that people buy into without understanding how that impacts you positively or negatively. The problem is many times people try to copy what they see and they don't understand what's the back end of it. They don't understand how that's going to affect them in the longest of long runs. Now, I'll take myself, for example. Before I was a speaker, I was a musician singing and playing with bands and all that. And then I went on for the past 20 some odd years speaking, doing keynotes and training, right? Now, I've come back because come back to music because i know that that's something i just for whatever the reason is there's an umption in me that this part of my life is not completed now i know that in the social media world and how it shows up some people may say huh is he a musician is he a speaker well the truth is i am both i am a content creator so what's your point charles the point is even when you do things that may be confusing you have to dis- to decide, do I still do it? Do I still want to do it? Knowing that some people have a different opinion of me because the way I show up in the market is different than other speakers or it's different than other musicians. And if you can make peace with that and say, well, you know what? This is who I am. This is how I am. And I'm going to keep moving in this direction. If you've made up your mind to move in that direction because you feel that this is uh, what's right for you, then you don't have to apologize. You don't have to change anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Make up. You've made up your mind that, be it good or bad, you expect and accept this approach and these results. Now, you can always conform to what everyone else is doing. But that's a choice. Okay, I'm not going to do my music because people may get confused and not want to hire me. Makes sense. But what is your heart saying? And how do you truly feel about it? So you have to understand what side of the road do you stand on? And that's part of understanding what it is that you want to do. And then, you know, write this down as well. You have to learn the rules of life or the rules of engagement. Meaning, how do you show up? How do you show up when you're trying to do that thing that means so much to you? Or that you call it a hobby? Or you call it side money? How do you show up? And how do people see you when you show up? See, it can be difficult. I mean, very difficult. Because we all want, you know, the, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. We all want things to be good. Um, We all want to have a favorable outcome. We all want to be accepted, and that's normal. But the reality reality is that's not going to happen. Not like that anyway. If it happens like that, it may be a very short time frame. And if it doesn't happen like that, it may happen uh, in a massive manner in the end. But you have to be on board. You have to be willing to sign that contract to say, I'm on board, win, lose, or draw. And that's part of accepting the rules of engagement, which many people cannot do because it feels uncomfortable, because the road is lonely, and on and on and on, right? We hear hear and have all these thoughts about what it is in our mind, and that's normal. There's nothing wrong with having a goal or having a desire to do or be something and understanding that, It's not going to be a one, two, three thing. This is why I tell people constantly, don't do it unless you truly love it. And the reason why I say that is because you waste time, you waste money. And uh, unfortunately, uh, some people get so bitter, it just ruins who they are as a person on the inside. So it's better that if you're going to go down in a blaze, go down doing something that you love, something that means the world to you versus getting uh, distracted, getting turned off because probably you didn't make the right choice in the beginning. Probably you were not doing the thing that really meant something to you uh, that you considered gravely important. I mean, just 
your all in all. And sometimes it takes a while to figure out what that is. And it takes a while or can take a while to figure out how you want to present that uh, way of life, that way of being, that way of doing business to the world. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just a part of life. Number three, write this down. You have to apply everything. I'm talking about if you do well, you definitely want to put that in your file. If you fail, you want to put that in your file. And if you've learned how to, you know, negotiate and differentiate between the winning experiences and the losing experiences so that now you have a formula that works for you. You know, there's never truly enough time in a workshop or in a training like this to get all of the ins and outs. That's why I say make your comments, ask your questions. And the reason is, again, because you want answers, of course, but so that you can gain from different perspectives. Maybe you have it almost right, but that question that you ask will present an answer that makes it all worthwhile. It'll kind of put the cherry on the top. So you have to be willing to look at all of the things that you've experienced. You know, even the trends and fads that we don't necessarily want to run with, but there can be benefits from what they do in some of these trends, these overnight pop-up uh, latest widgets and these overnight um, social media platforms, and all the things that don't stick around, even though they don't stick, there's still a lesson to learn from it. And so many people don't learn it because, well, you know, they're so interested in fast money. They're interested in likes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking or wanting likes. But uh, as a good friend of mine said, you have to convert likes into conversions. It has to turn into a sale at the end of the day in some manner, or at least develop a relationship that may eventually lead to a sale at some point. And it can be really, really tough. That's why you should do what you love, what you like, versus following around other people doing what everyone else is doing. That's the most important thing, because at the end of the day, this needs to be at peace. Your heart needs to be happy. Your heart needs to be at peace. Your mind needs to be at peace. And uh, that makes for a complete you. So with that being said, if you have any comments, please post them. Even afterwards, I would love to get your comments. Uh, I truly believe that the right mindset is all we need. And as a call to action, I would like to suggest something that may be very beneficial to you. I show it a lot, but I don't always say, hey, this is the next step. So now I'm saying it, this is the next step. Uh, I wanna encourage you to get the Radiate the Brain book series. I think it will add a lot of value, provide a lot of answers. And you'll see that the information there uh, is very worthwhile. Uh, you get insights from not just myself, but other people that are doing some of the things that I'm doing, uh, that are uh, speakers, that are trainers, that are authors, that are coaches. Uh, Janice McMillan, uh, Darius Wise, uh, Bishop David Sabatino. I mean, so many other people. The Wordsmith Speakers Alliance is a wonderful resource, not just because I say it, because we put the information in your hands, we give it to you at a discount, and we make sure that you walk away with something that's very valuable. So with that being said, folks, I just want to say, remember, you always got to radiate the brain and change the game. And don't forget...